They they would have, do you guys remember Dare? When they told us they would have a man dress as a police officer. I don't remember if he was an actual police officer or not. Uh, but they would have a guy dress as a police officer come into the school, come into the classroom, cut into my education time, fucking jerks, and uh, tell us not to do drugs, drink alcohol, or smoke cigarettes. Like, they, they told us they were all bad, they were all bad for you, and you shouldn't do them. And if you do, they're going to find out and arrest you in front of your parents. And none of us wanted that in the fifth grade. Okay, but like that shit, the D.A.R.E. program, that shit failed harder than your dick on Blue Chew. Okay, wadpod.com backslash blue, (laughs) backslash blue, bitch. The curriculum was faulty, right? Like there was no one, there was no one. Here's the thing. For over 10 years, the D.A.R.E. program involved 45-minute lectures that occurred weekly for a few months. For most schools, the program was incorporated in the 5th and 6th grades. Overall, the curriculum explained the risk of drug use and offered tips on how to refuse them. The program also uh, attempted to foster a better image of the police and address issues such as self-esteem and peer pressure. So... um, you know what's hilarious, dude, is uh, didn't work. Like, the the 6th and 7th grade uh, it was the most peer pressured times of my life, okay? And, um, you know, the, the tips that they gave us on how to refuse these drugs, presumably from, you know, the older kids, the older kids uh, in, in the school, I guess, is what how we were supposed to, as if like all the other kids were handing out drugs and cigarettes to us younger people. I never got offered drugs. I don't know about the schools that everyone else went to, but I personally never got offered drugs until like high school, I guess, until after the D.A.R.E. program was gone. (laughs) In addition, the D.A.R.E. program began creating literature for parents, such as the book, keeping kids drug free with its 2000 word glossary of slang terms and questionnaires designed to gauge a child's stress level. The book was out of touch at best and an attempt to scare parents at worst. For example, if your child answered yes to did something exciting happen, or if they tried hard to win a game in the questionnaire, then parents should be weary of possible drug use. Many critics uh, were uh, blasted the book uh, as borderline fraudulent, while harsher critics uh, reserve the term for dare itself, right? And not to mention, okay, not to mention, as soon as you turn 24, you discover that everyone around you does cocaine and most of us need prescription drugs to even function during the day in the society that the same people who set up the D.A.R.E. program created for us now in 2022. Thanks, guys. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it makes me want to smoke a cigarette with Post Malone, thinking about it. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. 